Okay, so as you saw in last week's episode, we started the process of installing our new window shades so we can beat the heat. So in this week's episode, we actually get the fabric on, so stay tuned, it looks pretty cool. It's a great DIY product um, that definitely helps with the temperature inside your boat. We are Erica and Davey, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge that is a hurricane-damaged catamaran. We are travelers. Combined, we have traveled to over 50 countries, experienced amazing cultures, and we cannot wait to explore more on our boat. We are still the world's slowest power cat right now until we can find the perfect rig for barefoot. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. Take a chance. You never know how perfect something may turn out to be. Okay, so welcome to part two of Beat the Heat. So we've just taken the sunshades out of the windows um, that we had on the inside, as you saw last week. Um, and the temperature inside the boat today has been 91 degrees during the peak of the day. It's hot. And there is a good wind today. That's true, it has been hot, but we've, we've just taken out, as I said, those um, car window shades that we've had in. You can see, you can see out, it's great. <laughs> it is much, much better with uh, being out. It. it doesn't feel like a cave. Yeah, it definitely feels, makes the boat feel bigger, everything feel bigger and better, and also a better view around. But I can see we need to clean these windows from the inside. I know we've done the outside, but yeah. time well, to do that. But anyway, that can tell, be done afterwards. You can also tell on the outside, you can see where some of the perforation oh, was. You can see where I missed a few bits. Yeah, yeah you can all see. All right, so we need to clean the outside as well again. <laughs> no problem. But anyway, we stuck all those parts on, as you saw last week, so we're going to carry on from there. So the next job is cutting this into the rough sizes. So they send it as a package. Um, I'll have to look up exactly what specs we got. I think we got the 20 meter kit, I think. Um, so they basically send you this six foot roll. I sent them a list of all the sizes of all our windows that we wanted to get done. He put it into his computer program and told us that this is the size we needed here. I need to find the template, don't I? I was gonna say, you're asking me to carry on. Where's my template? It's because the cardboard box is freaking out, Dobbs. <laughs> Did that freak you out, Dobbs? Did that freak you out? Hey, wingnut. All right, so it's still a little bit windy outside, so we've decided to carry on with this process inside. It came with a fancy white pencil that washes off. They say don't stretch the material when you put it on you want to just have it nice taut but and taut but not stretched oh. really nice if a bigger table would be nice yeah it would okay so the first two that we're doing here are the um the galley and the nav station and the nice thing is the sun is starting to come through those windows. So we'll be able to see what the difference is relatively quickly. So this stuff is supposed to cut really, really nicely. There's no frame supposed to be on the edges. Let's see how it goes. Apparently, once you get going, you can just It wasn't too bad. Easy peasy. Easy snap. Easy and snap. Are we going to hold this one for you? Yeah, it's almost like cutting, um, what's it called? When you're wrapping presents, wrapping uh, paper. It's pretty much the same on the difficult level. I'm not very good at wrapping presents. Or buying. No, that's very true. We can put that one on. Alright, how easy is this going to be? Easy? Snip. Well, to be honest, it's probably a two-person job, but you're holding the camera. 
Like, well, let me put the camera up somewhere. Yeah, you need to put the camera up somewhere because I want to be able to hold it. I don't want to mess this up. We'll do. So you just push the fabric over the snappy thing. Yeah, just push it straight through. So literally, I just push pressure on it. Yeah. But I want Erica's hands on this one. So we'll test it and then we'll show you on the next. Okay, last one. Uh, visual effect. Visual effect looks great so far. Now we just need the cavity caps. Got to put the caps on, and also then we need to trim off the excess edges. So there's some extra bits. But we lined up the easy, the hardest ones to do. Obviously, it's going to be at the top. So we can do this now. Trim around with the scissors there, there, and there, and along the bottom, and that should be it. So I'm going to grab the caps. Alrighty. Let's do a bit quick comparison. Between... Well through it. Holy crap, that's great. First impression from the outside, or in the inside, you can still see through it. But you cannot see in. And the cap's go on nice and easily, look at that. Push. Beauty. It's easy as one, two. So on this window here, we did actually put it on the wrong way. You're supposed to put it so that the curl is towards the window. So it just makes it look nicer until the material goes flat. It will go flat over time, but just when you first install it, you are supposed to put it the other way. Um, I think we just got a bit excited about putting the first one on. So all the other ones, we did it the correct way. Quite like to work with it. This is quite good to work with. Um, what we've decided to do is actually just take a break from it instead of trying to cut um, cut it all this evening inside. We're actually going to take it onto land, find a shady spot, and trim up the bigger sections on land. So we'll be back. Stay tuned for more. I'm really looking forward to beating the heat. Hello, big ears. Wing nut. Hello. So one of the things here that I'm looking forward to with these windows is um, <laughs> they're good windows, but they're not great windows. Um, so by having these covers over top of them, it'll help protect them from more UV damage. Um, it'll make the boat look nicer from a distance. And again, the temperature thing is going to be huge. So beating the heat is my biggest hope with these. Um, so really looking forward to seeing how we do today. Hey guys. Hey Foxo. What do you think? Hey, what do you think? Mm. All right, let's get these two on and then we'll cut the rest of the material later today. All right, so trying to be creative in where we hang the GoPro for this so we can film it. Um, <laughs> got a bit of a pendulum action going on, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to let you do the pressing. Yeah. Where do you want to go on that? To be honest, I think we want to line it up pretty good on the top. Because the bottom's got a very slight curve to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can go to you because I think you can get to no, this thing needs trimming. Have you got a hang up hang there? Yeah. Alright, everything needs to trim. Okay, so the key with this is you don't pull it. You not just not too tight. Taut but not tight. Look at that you guys. It's not trimmed yet. But I love it so far. Bum, bum, bum. And how quick was that? Three minutes? So it only took about three minutes to put that window on um, the screen. So that's great. We got another one to do.
Okay. Well, I'm happy with that, even though I haven't done the trimming yet, because I'm going to trim everything together. And also, I'm going to trim slightly later in the day, because uh, I'm in a better mood. And uh, trying to get those nice corners, Davey has to be in a good mood. So anyway, but looking good so far. Let's go check it out on the inside. Anyway. It looks much better. You can still see out. So it's cool here. You have the comparison. The comparison. That one has it. That one doesn't. It's much glarier coming from that one. This one, it's like you can still see out, but it's not as like woo brightness. I would have to say it is still morning and it is a bit overcast at the moment. So we'll do this comparison again later on in the afternoon when it's a little bit brighter. But so far, so good. So, come on, let's do good things for the temperature, yeah? <laughs> this stuff is so easy to trim, eh? When you're in the right mood. <laughs> yeah. I was a bit miserable the other day and I was in a, thinking about something else and yeah, I had to just walk away, but it wasn't difficult. Just my brain was in the wrong place. Just hold that thing. It just comes so easily. This is where I got to the other day and I got all lumpy about it. Doesn't look too bad though. Looks from... actually pretty good. I think we'll leave that. Okay, so we've successfully had the window coverings on for the past week um, and I've been doing some temperature checks. So today the temperature inside the boat is only 82 degrees. Um, it is 11.23 um, so it might get a little bit hotter um, but last week we were seeing 91s, 93s inside the boat. So it's definitely helping. Um, it is still the Caribbean, it's still going to be hot, um, but it's definitely made a difference. Over on this side of the boat, we have put this shade back in this window, specifically for the reason that we keep food here in the snack hammock. Um, so we want to make sure it doesn't get moldy or gross too quickly, and by keeping a little bit of shade there, it keeps it cooler. Um, if you look at the windows here, you will notice when there's direct sunlight on it, you can see a little bit of the crazing in the windows. Um, but as soon as the sun comes like backwards a little bit, uh, that crazing goes away and it gives you a beautiful view through the windows. You can still see out. There's Davey's little face. So one of the last things that we're going to check for these window coverings is what they look like with the drone. We're gonna fly the drone around the boat and see what it looks like. We'll do a bit of a before and after. Um, and then I also wanna see what they look like at night. So are they gonna give us any privacy when we have lights on inside at nighttime? Or are you still gonna be able to see in the boat? So I'm curious to see how that one goes. But overall, super, super impressed with this product so far. All right, the last one. It's easier to go this way than to go that way. So let's stop back here. So do you think they've made a difference on temperature? Definitely. Definitely there's a bit of difference in temperature. And I think cosmetically, I think it looks better. Okay. I'm going to show everyone what it looks like in a minute. It looks so much better. Look at that. That's fantastic. You can't see in. No. Especially in the daytime, definitely can't see nothing inside. Yeah. We're going to do a test tonight to yeah. see. Well, one thing, have you told everybody that we've no. decided to go back with the perforated material on these ones? Yeah. Just purely because of the handles. Otherwise, we're going to have to have a big sort of semicircle here, and then there'll be open spots. So we're going to put the perforated material just back onto these ones with the low, low profile hatch handles. Yeah. But it looks really good. Looks good, eh? Okay. Can I take off one of them sticky knocks? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, no, you can't. We've forgotten one section. The bedroom windows. Yeah, that's not today.
Man says I'm sorry, son, but where's your shoes? I say ain't got none. If you want to come inside of here, you just better go and find yourself some. I said, man, whatever you're selling, I surely don't want none. If it means I gotta hide my toes from the lovely, 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 lovely sun. I am a barefoot man, barefoot to make my stand. I bear my soul for all the world to see, yeah, yeah. I am a barefoot man You planted firmly in the sand Bear your feet Set your souls free People sometimes stare when they pass They say, son, aren't you a little bit worried by glass? <laughs> I said, man, that's the last thing on my mind But thank you for asking I am a barefoot man, barefoot to make my stand. I bear my souls for all the world to see. Yeah, yeah. I am a barefoot man, be planted firmly in the sand. Bear your feet, set your souls free. I can't deny as the years gone by, seen my share of splinters. That's the price you pay, cause I said Shoes off a winter <laughs> Yeah Doesn't every child wish it last You know the summertime feeling Run a bare foot in the grass But all them days go by so fast And then you're thinking about the past I am a barefoot man, barefoot to make my stand. I bear my souls for all the world. So as you saw, the difference is crazy, especially during daytime. Daytime, it's huge. You cannot see in through the windows. It's fantastic. The temperature has been way less inside the boat. So overall, this product is fantastic. At nighttime, you can still see in a little bit depending on how much light you have on inside the boat. Um, but I don't think you're going to get away from that anyways. It definitely makes a difference though. Um, so we're very happy overall. So easy snap is definitely worth it. I am a barefoot man. Barefoot to make my stand. I bear my souls for all the world to see. Yeah. I am a barefoot man He planted firmly in the sand Bear your souls Come along with me Lose your shoes, lose your blues Come along, come along with me